Warm sunny conditions greeted the players on day four of the Gippsland Super Six at Warrigal Country Club as we turn from stroke play from the first three rounds to medal match play over six holes and five complete rounds to find a winner of this event for the fourth time. We begin our highlights with David Michaluzzi, the Victorian, playing his tee shot in round one of the match play section this morning. He defeated Ben Eccles. Fine tee shot there at the last. He would eventually go down in the next round of 16 to Justin Warren. And then back at the par four fourth hole, Kevin Yarn. He had this for Eagle, taking the putter off the short stuff there. And he would be the eventual quarter finalist and get knocked out against Kyle Michelle. On the par four third hole, Josh Armstrong from the ACT. Missed the green to the right. This was his chip across the green. Wonderful touch into the hole and he would go on to defeat Shea Wool's Cobb in that match, but was knocked out in the quarterfinals by Tom Power Horan. Yeah, Chris Wood from over the back of the last was able to get past Devon Bling in the first round. In the second round, he took on Hayden Barron, rolled that down to close range and was able to move past Hayden Barron to advance to the quarterfinals, eventually losing to Andre Lorty. Now Tom Power Horan in round two here on the final hole, the par three against Blake Collier. He hit that shot in. He would make that to advance to the next round. And the assistant pro at Castle Hill, Alex Edge, led this tournament through 36 holes. This for his putt in the quarterfinal to win against Justin Warren. He would go on to face Andre Lorty in the semi-final. Which is where we find him here. In the last four, what a week for him. 36-hole leader of the event. Taking an iron at the fourth hole. The ninth hole as it plays ordinarily here at Warrigal Country Club. And one of the shots of the tournament, if not the Sunday itself, to close range. And for a while there, looked like he might have a hole in one on the par four. What a shot by Alex Edge from Castle Hill Country Club. Now on the third hole, Tom Powerhorn, he had driven through the fairway here, but he had 151 metres to navigate this. Recovery shot here in the final. He would go on to tap that in for a birdie and get one shot back. Yeah, that started an amazing run for Tom Powerhorn on the next hole, the tee. The Regularly plays as the ninth hole at the Warrigal Country Club, but the fourth in this final against Kyle Michelle. Had a beautiful three iron, turning it from right to left, just skirting the trees. We thought Alex Edge's tee shot here was something, but have a look at this. What an amazing tee shot to six feet. He wouldn't make the eagle putt, but definitely got the birdie. Certainly did his fourth in five holes and he would make it five in six holes with this to seal the deal at the last as the rain came down at Warrigal Country Club for the second time Tom Powerhorn is the champion of the Goopsland Super Six.